Oh god, oh god. Too much next videos. Gotta get out. All the pipes are frozen. Can't hold on. Oh, I'm gonna pee some fierce. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Nearly didn't make that, ladies and gentlemen. My god. Welcome back. And I want to say thank you for all the comments. Whoa, whoa, shake it off. Now, we had a plan for success, suggested by the mighty Miles Brush. And seeing as we have a lot of timber just laying around out there in the snow, Miles suggested that we get a firewood business started. Yes! Fantastic idea. And ignore the snow pouring into my house. It's just getting really bad out there. All the pipes are frozen and everything. Now, ADHD aside, I've made a few phone calls down to some locals and they are after firewood. All right, they live in town. They don't have access to the woods like we do. So we're going to deliver. Yes. Now, interestingly enough, IRL, my neighbours, they have a 500 acre property and that is their business. They sell firewood. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I cut my own firewood, of course, here on my property. Yes, on my little farm. And that's what I was doing most of the yesterday. So now I'm going to do some more of that virtually. Come along with me, won't you, as we uh, begin this journey. Oh, actually, before I forget, we got to hire the machine. And uh, yeah, we might do that down at the shop, I believe. So come along, won't you? As we uh, do this. I already said that. Let's get on the road. Um, I'm not sure why our caravan has moved. Um, but it has a long way. We better get that sorted out too. But first of all, we've got to get this off the trailer. And I was thinking... We may be able to fit a fair bit of firewood in the back of this. You know, in the back of the old high boy. And for some reason, I can't get in the... You? Um, okay. Why can't I get in the you? Do I have... Oh, this might be why. Yes, there we go. I had flight mode on to set this episode up. Now! Let's get this thing unloaded. Ah. Now, I don't cheat with money or anything like that. You can see we've still got the exact same amount of cash as we had. This is meant to be a hardcore playthrough, all right? So no cheating with money. All right, it's all about actually building this homestead from the ground up by selling weed. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's get this off here. Boom. Easy. Now, we may actually... We don't have... A to oh, we do have a tow hitch on this. Alright, I'm going to move that caravan back to where it's bloody supposed to be. Let's do that first. And while I say, I want to thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. And to all you guys commenting. My fellow uh, cowboys from hell out there. Yes. I see your comments. Oop. I read them. And, yeah. If you're a Pantera fan like me, then hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Let's get that in there. Now, can I even attach this? Probably not is going to be the answer. No. Okay. I thought there was a hitch where I could do it, but I need a drop ball hitch. So let's get this out of the way. Put it over here beside the mower that we never use. Look at how deep this snow is getting. My God! And just here will do, I reckon. Put the hydraulics down. Boom! Alright. So uh... Now, I know I can definitely back it up on this, but I don't need this trailer for now, so it's got to get out of the way. So let's stick it up here in the woods somewhere. Easy, easy. Now, you bastards get out there, you subbies. Get out there in the cold and unhook that for me, would you? 
Cheers, guys. Good work. All right. Let's move this caravan back into position. Now, I know not the most entertaining, not the most sizzling of starts, shall we say. But uh, our bladder's empty and we're ready to rock and roll. Oh, and you know what I should, we need to do before we do anything else? Uh, not sure how that got so far back. Oh, shit. Just ran over here, I think. There we go. Boom. Now, hop in. Said hop in. Thank you. All right, now that you're here, here, grab this beer. I want to say cheers to all you subbies. Yes. Ah, that one's for you guys. Uh, and so is that now. Let's get uh, up here and head down to the shop. See about this firewood. Yes. So we've got the machinery to do it. This old high boy can lug the loads, I hope. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be just a matter of getting the firewood machine up the hill here. Because uh, there's no point in double handling and taking the firewood machine or taking the lumber down to the firewood machine. We've got to hire it and get it back up here if we can. That's a big if. All right. So let's hit the road and see. Now, let me just make sure. Yes, everything seems to be working fine. Beautiful. I have been known to start recording and the audio is not working and things... Things of that nature, because I'm stupid. What can I say? What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? Look at this face, man. That is a face only a mother could love. I'll tell you what, it is colder. Whoa, shit. It is colder than a witch's tit out here. All the pipes are frozen in the house. Can't use the toilet, so everything's been going outside. Right? The septic's all buggered up. We'll get it running again. Winter can't last forever. And, uh... Yeah, but we need to earn some cash, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, we're doing alright. But the weed production needs to be ramped up to 11. As far as I'm concerned. Because this is just getting ridiculous! My god! And, uh... Yeah. So that's the goal. We're definitely, we're going to go for the uh, bigger greenhouse first. 40,000 we need. All right. So again, thank you to Miles for the suggestion of firewood. We're going to give that a goddamn go, all right? I'm going to give it a red hot go. And, uh, yeah, see what it's all about. I have used the mod before, so it's going to be an interesting episode because... Not only do we have to get it up here, but I've got to remember how to use the bloody thing, alright? And whether or not the snow is going to impact, you know, raising the logs onto the actual machine and all that sort of nonsense, so... Either way, we're going to work it out. We'll work it out. Just calm down. Calm down, alright? We'll, we'll, we'll get it going. So... And if worse comes to worse, look, we can always bring it down here. You know? I'm sure the foreman won't mind if we use his flat surface to get the firewood going. And hopefully we can make a decent amount of money off it. I have no idea if it's going to be worth the time to do. But we'll see. We've got to spend a couple of grand hiring the machine first. That's step number one. All right, let's hit the road. Third gear. Get into first person. All right, look at this old Ford. Man, it's sexy. Third gear. Boom. Now, someone asked, uh, two. This is, uh, the, oh, the caravan. That's what it was. So the caravan is the gear wrench modding, uh, cruise work. Awesome. And I showed it at the end of the last episode, just before we finished. So, if you're wondering 
about that, uh, it's there at the end. Uh, jump on their Facebook or head over to their Patreon. It is paid mod, all right, but it's worth it. All right, their work is worth it. Anyway, I talked about that in the last episode. Uh, unfortunately, I'm running so many mods, I'd love to be able to thank every single one of them. Because I do appreciate every single mod. I really do. And the modders who make them. Um, a hearty cheers to you guys. And that's... This drink's for you. Alright. Oh, and the rooster's back. God damn it! Ugh. Um, I'll explain that again in a minute. I have to do that every episode, I think. Alright, here we are. Go see the boys inside. But yes, I'm just running too many to name. But if you see it and you're curious, please ask. And I will find out as best I can who and where to get it from. Alright? Um, now, the rooster. I live on a farm. IRL. When he hears my voice, he comes running because he thinks I got food for him. But I don't have no candy for him. No candy! Alright. Keep it down out there! That's me literally yelling out my window. He sits right beside my window and starts crawling. Alright, hey fellas! How <laughs> you going? Yeah, it's just me. Let me in. Alright. Now. So I do apologise for that rooster crowing and spilling through the mic. There's literally, there's nothing I can do about it. Alright, unless I go out and shoot him. Turn him into a pile of guts and feathers. Hey! Keep it down! So, it's just life on a farm. Now, what am I doing? Where am I? What 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 is happening here? Okay, we need to go to forestry equipment. And... That fucking rooster. All right. Uh, here it is, the firewood processor. Now, I'm pretty sure this is on the mod hub. So, head over there if you want this delightful thing. And it comes with... Um, Comes with... I'm sorry, I've, the rooster's got me all fucked up now. Um, a fire... It's sell, where you sell it. Like a placement of selling... Uh, <sighs> my brain. <laughs> Comes with a place to sell it. I'm going to have to go chase that chicken, aren't I? All right. We're going to rent it. $2,295. My God. <laughs> it's expensive, but we'll make that back, hopefully. Ah, right, cheers, fellas! Let's go hook it up, and hopefully this old high boy can lug it. Now, you guys, get ready. Get out in the cold there. And, uh... Prepare to hook me up. She's a big beast. <laughs> Don't think I've ever tried to tow this machine with this rig before. All right, hook me up, fellas! Good work. Good work. All right, get in. Oh, you can't get in while I've got this hooked on. You're just going to have to stay out there then. Start running. Or jump in the back of the ute. All right, let's go. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting our firewood business. Now, these houses down the road here. You can see the little blue lights. That's where we've got to take them. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Getting to third. I'm oh, not third, second, sorry. Alright. Now into third. Beautiful. Keep an eye out for cars. Alright, let's see if we can even get this thing back home. Look at this beautiful winter's day, mate. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! Are you all right, subbies? Oh, I rub your leg gingerly. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh, we may need to... Can we... Lift this up? There. Man. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry, backing up. Backing up. Oh, I guess we got to take it a bit slower. Jeez. Oh. My balls got crushed between my leg and my jeans. Ugh. Well, it looks like 
it's too low to the ground there at the back where the handle is. Can I? I can't lift it up any high. Whoa, shit. Oh, man. Okay. That's... This is actually... This actually might be very difficult. Oh, we... What the hell? You shut the fuck up! Alright? Shut up! Have you ever seen that? What is wrong with you? <laughs> that guy just screaming. If you get that reference, then well done. Where'd that sign go? It's jammed up in the wheels. Did you already get it out, subbies? Good work. Alright. Hold your goddamn horses! Ugh. Oh, there it is. Oh, and we got it out. Okay. Look at how deep this snow is getting. My god. Now, maybe that's... I've had another idea, too. And tell me what you guys think, alright? Now, I want to know. If I hire a snow-blowing machine and start, say, clearing the roads, like, not the off-road roads, but like these roads here. You see how the snow drifts? Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! Good thing this old rig's tough, I'll tell you what. All right, we've got to take it easy when we hit bridges. Um, yeah, you see these snow drifts? What the fuck? If we, uh, cleared these blockages, right? Would the city pay us? And how much would they pay us if we were to do that? That's what I really want to know. Like, say we go around the whole map and clear the whole map with a hired vehicle. What would it be worth, do you think? What would you Americans get paid to do that? Because um, we'd have to hire the machine to, I guess. Uh, or like a, a tractor with a cab because there's no way we're going to be blasting the little Kubota but you know maybe we could think of something like that and what would it cost us to do or what would we get paid for it you know because we could legitimately role play that you know I reckon anyway what do you think though tell me in the comments please uh, and if you've got any other suggestions how we can make some money, don't be afraid to, you know, let me know. I'm not paying attention. You can gently caress my knee. All right? Hands off my knee! Now. Um, where are we here now? We've got to be careful with this. That tire looks really flat in the back of <laughs> In that mirror there. Alright. Let's turn in. See what I mean? Look how flat it looks. Someone pump up those tires. God damn. Alright. We've held up the traffic enough to piss off literally everyone in the state. So. These flat tires. No, actually, it would make it worse, a flat tire in the snow. It might be better in the sand, wouldn't it? But. You want a skinny tyre for the snow. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Or am I wrong? You tell me. Alright. Uh, uh, pardon you. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> no. We ain't gonna get far at all, are we? <laughs> Shit. We're already stuck. This might be a job for the Kubota. I can see that. Or oh, shit. I can see that already. Alright, let's get up. Bring the Kubota down. Have to do some cross-road shit. You know what? I don't even know if the Kubota's going to be able to do that. Thinking on it, because... As soon as we hit the slopes, the Kubota's going to be fucked. Hmm. But we'll be able to lift it up higher. How are we going to do this? Shit, how are we going to do this? We need to think for a second. Hang on! Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe. On that window up. Maybe. Ah. Look. Uh, how the fuck are we going to get this up here? Hmm. We might have to drag logs down. Double handle. Because there's no way this is getting up the hill with what I've got. And we've already spent the money, so we have to utilise it. So it might be time to double handle. We'll give it one more go. But that thing is... The hitch is too low. So you can see how much it goes down there. There's no way to lift it up any higher. It's lower, and that's as high as it goes. Yeah, shit. And we can't get any traction. Alright. Um, what if I try... Nah, look at that. It's banging into the ground. What if I try the deeper snow? Because it's... Nope, that's worse. Okay. Well! Shit! Now we're stuck. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Problems. As Sepultura would say, Problems remain! Hmm... I guess we have to try the Kubota. Oh shit, where's the road? Oh, we're off to a great start this episode, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Miles, this is your fault. Get out and walk. Ugh. I push Miles out of the thing. He rolls down the hill. You stay with the thing and we'll be back soon, Miles. Oh shit, don't drive off the edge. Stay with that machine, Miles, and think about what you've done. <laughs> No, honestly though, thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> it's actually more fun. Um, right, well we'll come back for Miles. Hopefully he's not an ice cube by the time we get back. What is the temperature? Nope. Oh, it's, a, it's 19 degrees. <laughs> it's 19 degrees, mate. You'll be fine. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Let me have a look, actually. I need to know now. I need to know. Alright, here we go. Um, 19 Fahrenheit to Celsius. <laughs> it's minus 7. Alright, so that's pretty cold. Alright, but you'll be alright. You know, the wind chill. I would hate to think what that is. Because it's blasted, it's literal blizzard. But Miles, you'd be right. Um, you're a tough lad, I'm sure of it. I have no doubt you can handle yourself in the woods. And if you get cold, you can always go ask the foreman at the um, at the sawmill whether you can have a cup of tea or something, a cup of coffee. You know. So you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Alright. <laughs> we gotta get the Kubota down the hill now. That's gonna be... That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Hopefully we can get the fucking thing back up. Otherwise this... Uh, gonna be a very interesting episode. While we're here, we might as well check the... Um, how the plants are going too. Now, actually, I probably can guess because... I've pretty much left off in last episode uh, where we uh, where we ended it. All right, yeah. So it's only got a hundred. So it's, it's fuck all in there. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling. Yes, yes. All right. See, as you can see, look at all this leftover t uh, lumber we got laying around. That's all firewood right there. And I'm hoping that we can get more firewood, more money for the firewood than we can just the... Um, 
uh, what do you call it? Then just the uh, lumber. Make it worth it. Alright. Take this loggers box off. We better hurry up so Miles doesn't freeze to death. Although it's going to be cold in this bloody tractor. Because we've got no cab. <laughs> Look at how deep the snow is. Alright. Unhook me. Beautiful. Now we got to get around. And... Oh, shit. Put these weights on. Now, the weights might actually assist us in, uh, in this endeavor. All right, I know I'm using some fancy words there, but couldn't think of anything else off the top of my head. It's quite hard, like, talking constant shit into a microphone. All right, and we're on our way. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well, this could take a while, ladies and gentlemen. So you, you sit on my lap here and tell me how you've been. All right? They're all just hanging onto the tractor. I do appreciate everyone who's watching and uh, and commenting. I know I say it a lot, but I do enjoy hearing from you all. Right? I especially like it when you let me know you know, you're enjoying it, and what you're up to when you're watching, or like, uh, if you're getting ready for work, or you're just chilling out, we're here to hang out, and hopefully my soothing Australian accent can get you a bit moist in the process, <laughs> yes, you love it, you fucking love it, don't you, you fucking can and if you don't know, that's just how Bogan's talk in Australia, right? Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? I feed him, Mungo. Yeah, if I can get up him. You know. Um, but if you're not sure what a Bogan is, too, it's just a Australian redneck, basically. Um, and, yeah, it's basically what I am. Um... I'm not sure what the equivalent exactly would be in America, but low income, rural, you know, lots of guns. You know, the law is more a set of uh, guidelines than, you know, words to live by. And especially, uh, you know, really, a law is just... Um, you know, saying something that is saying, you know, it's legal for a price. That's what a fine is, right? You get a fine, it's legal for a price. You know? So I could go ahead, you know, bloody throw all my trash out onto the ground to make Greta upset, but you know, and I'll get a fine for it, but see, it's legal for a price. Uh, Whoa, shit! That's my thinking on it anyway. Now, hopefully this is high enough to even lift it. Otherwise, this journey is going to be for naught. Right. Look at how bumpy it is. The other option may be we're going to have to clear the snow. And I don't know if we've got the money to do that, to be quite honest. So... Yeah. I might save that for the next time. I'd like to hear. See if anyone says anything. Miles, are you there? Miles! How much do you reckon I get paid, Miles, for, uh... You know, clearing the snow off the roads? What would the council pay me? Fucking hell, look at how, <laughs> look at how deep it is. Uh, is there a max height for this, or is it just going to keep piling up until it's over the sawmill roof? I don't know. It'll be just like Canada, eh? Yeah. The old turdo. There's no way that's... Oh, shit! That's... 
lower, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, well, shit. <clears throat> um, we don't have the oomph. We do not have the firepower, ladies and gentlemen, to attempt this. Hmm. Well, the only thing I can think of is can I lift... Can I lift it? The answer is almost certainly going to be no. So I can't even lift it to turn it around. Go, you mighty... <laughs> <laughs> Go! This is safe. Whoa, shit! That would have been a good thumbnail right there. Might have to touch it on the tip, ladies and gentlemen. Got to touch the tip, yes. <laughs> This has turned into a fucking shit show. All right, Miles. <laughs> I can't even turn. Ah! Uh oh. No, we're good. We're good. Miles, you've been promoted. All right. Fuck. Yep, our little Kubota does not have the oomph to do this, and I've made this far worse. Now I've blocked the entire road for the sawmill. <coughs> hmm. Plans must be devised, ladies and gentlemen. Plans must be devised. I want to get at least one load of firewood done this episode. So it may be a longer episode. But it's looking like we're going to have to go... What are we going to do? See, the snow's alright down here. Don't really want to double handle, though. Hmm. I think we got to bite the bullet and clear the snow. Let's jump in here. Check on Miles, see how he's doing. Miles, you in here? Miles! Oh my god, man! Get your hand off it! No, I'm just joking. Alright, um, let's have a look. Um, uh, <laughs> anything in the bargain bin? Nah. Nah, that's not gonna help us. Hmm. We need snow machinery. What is it? It's, I think they got, yeah, winter equipment. Here we go. See, something like this. I don't want to use these because it's just too thick. Avant? We do have the Avant, but that might be too small. Hmm. What's this? 83 Ford mod. 83 Ford. I wonder which one that is. I've got so many Ford mods on here. But no, I don't want to use that anyway. Um, what's this one? Is there anything in here? Yeah, that's going to be way out of our price range to hire. We will freeze to death if we attempt this. No, it's only minus seven. We'll be right. Stop being a pansies. All right? I know I'm Australian. I can handle it. The, the question is, is this going to be too heavy? 90 horsepower. And I don't think we have the horsepower to run it. Let's have a look. No, we don't. So we're going to have to get creative. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? See what kind of tractors there are, small tractors that are cabbed that can run this thing. What did I say? 90, didn't I? So see, something like this could be all right. We know around the 40 grand is going to be around the $2,000 mark, which we have that money. Um, 
And then double it, I guess. Yeah, see, now we're getting way out of our... Let's have a look at some of our mods. See, maybe something like that could do it. Now, Volvo. What do we got here in the mods? An M5, 64. We got this thing. How many... 75 horsepower. Hmm. All right, some old cases. They're fa they're fairly cheap, and they're in the right horsepower range. But are they high enough? I don't think they'll be high enough in the rear end, and they're not cabbed. We're gonna need a cab. Ooh, here we go. I'll fit. Again, that tow ball's really low, isn't it? Um. That might be it. Oh, Ford? Hell yeah. Look at this. It's got no... It's only got a pintle hitch. Um, hmm. I can't run this. I've got to delete this. It looks awesome, but it lags the game out real hard. So, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. It's cool, but just doesn't work, unfortunately. Mmm, alrighty, well, doesn't leave us with a lot of options. Let's have a look at the trucks, maybe. Um, They're going to be way too expensive for us, though. Where are the trucks here? Mmm. Got this whole Ford here. The dump truck get... More horses, 850 horsepower. How's the tow? See, that's higher tow hitch. Can we get bigger wheels? Not really. What's this design? It's just... Hmm. Okay. Keep it in mind. Here we go. Ninety-six thousand fucking dollars, though. I don't have enough money. Even if I wanted to rent it, I can't afford that. Hmm. Well, got this old Mac. Sixty grand. We won't be able to afford it, and the tow ball's really, really low. What about this old Chevy here for two grand? Two hundred horsepower. That's weaker than. Yeah. All right. There's nothing here we can use. These, I thought, because these are way out of our price range, because something like this would be awesome. But it needs uh, a PTO. Oh, it does have a PTO. Yeah, see, one like that. But it's way out of our price range. We can't do it, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's no good to us. Um, well, shit. Let's have a look in the medium tractors in the mods because there's no way the um, base game ones are going to be able to... We're going to be able to afford it. How many horsepower? That's got the horsepower, but it's no cab. I guess we don't need a cab. Look, that'd be plenty. But I'd prefer to have the snowblower at the front so I wasn't reversing. Can we get a PTO at the front? No. Okay. That's out of our price range. Now, here we go. That's affordable. Hundred and twenty five horsepower. It's got the horses. We get some just keep the standards, I guess. We don't need a front end loader. Oh, this might be our option. This might be our rig.
It's a lot of money to spend, though. It's the only one we can really afford, though, with the front PTO. Okay, look, we're going to have to bite the bullet and do this. All right, we're getting the old Ford, the classic. <laughs> I do like my Fords, so... Oh. This is painful, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Now we got to go get the fucking thing. I should send Miles to go get it, but... All right, so we know we need to make at least five grand back on the fucking firewood. And now that we've bit the bullet on that too. Oh, shit. And I'll get a snowblower as well. We've got to get back up to the high boy, though. Um... <laughs> we'll get the snowblower, all right? And I want you guys to tell me, I need to know now, for certain, how much should I get paid if I clear the highway for the council, all right? We'll sign a contract, but I want you guys to tell me. I need to know how much. If we do the entire road, both sides, uh... How much are we going to make? And we'll do ours as a... You know... Fucking look at this. We'll do our road as a... Side thing. In fact, we're going to do it first because I want to get the firewood done uh, in this episode. I want at least one load down to the people. It's cold. They need their firewood. Alright. And so it may be a longer episode, this one. I think I already said this, didn't I? My brain, you know, it's it's damaged by years of alcohol abuse and pesticides and herbicide chemicals. <sighs> we snort asbestos and drink uh, Roundup like it's going out of fashion in these hills. Alright. We ain't no pansies. If your liver can't handle it, you should have been dropped on your head as a child. Which I probably was. And booted around like a football. Stick to our wheel marks. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is bad. The snow is just too thick, ladies and gentlemen. It's too thick! I can't handle it! Alright, we're nearly back to the road. Nearly back to the road. <laughs> it's gonna be like a million episode series, this, just to get the fucking grow house, I mean. Holy crap. Oh, wrong way. Let's get this up. 12 o'clock. Snowing. It's only gonna... It's gonna remain snowing too, so... Yeah. At this point, even if the snow does settle back on the road, it's just gonna be worth it because holy shit, man. We need to get this clear. I'm starting to pack it fairly smooth up through here. Uh, 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 uh. Says that as we bounce around, breaking our spines. Uh, oh god, the burps are real. Alright. Yeah, we've got heaps of timber still laying around so we don't need to cut any more trees for our firewood we need to just clean up so it was actually a good idea miles i know i'm joking about blaming you and stuff but it's it's a good idea i like it all right let's park this over here 
snow is actually unbelievably deep. All right. <clears throat> Fire up this rig. We're going to have to give this a service soon, too. Oh, no, girl. Do it. There she goes. There she goes. Look at that cheech. All right. Into reverse we go. Let's get out of here. Head down to the shop. That was a complete way, complete waste of time getting that Kubota. It was way worse than the Ford. But we gave it a go, all right? Um, go get the new tractor. Board can wait down at the shop because it's there's no way we're going to be able to lug that uh, tractor around. It'd be way too heavy for this old beast. But as mighty as it is. I just know it will not be able to handle that board. Hmm. Oh shit, we're sliding, we're sliding, hang on, hang on subbies! <sighs> Look at how beautiful it is though. <laughs> Some assholes left a fucking wood processor in the way. We're, we're all right. We're all right, everyone. Calm down. Let's calm down. I suppose we wait for the traffic. Oh! Oh! Jeez, are you guys all right? Oh, sorry. I wasn't looking where I was going. Oh. Got whiplash from that. Well, acting like a maniac. Whiplash. <laughs> Seeing as I can't have the actual radio on, radio on. Bang your head against the stage like I never did before. Make a ring, make a bleed, make a really sore. Something, something, something in your leathers and your spikes. Something, 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 something we're around tonight. Baby, baby, drilling and starts to flow. Baby, baby, thrashing all around. Baby, baby, acting like a maniac. Whiplash. Sorry. No, I just thought I'd be the radio for you. Whoa! Oh! We almost just died, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Alright. Here we are. Let's pull in. Park this over near the shop. Boys can keep an eye on the old rig for us. <sighs> now, we need the snowblower. Okay, it's only close to 500. We can afford that. We've got 1,200 bucks left in the bank. <laughs> oh. we, st <laughs> we started off this episode with close to seven and we haven't made a cent. 
Alright? I'm a good businessman, what can I say? Now, how are the gears working this old bit? Oh, fantastic, they don't. Are you serious? Well, they work that way, but not... Down. Okay. Let's have a look at this rig, by the way. Oh, nice. Nice, I like it. I like it. It's a Ford, too, so it's minty. Ah, oh, we're out of that coal here. Squeeze in, you subbies. Now, how do we use this? Okay, V is down. I'm assuming this B is going to be on. And then we go forward. Yes. <laughs> All right. And away we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the operating speed is only six miles per hour. We're not going to clear the roads for them. We want to get paid for that. And that's going to be the next episode. When you guys let me know what, what I'm going to get paid. I'm not signing no contract with the government. Until they come to the party. Okay, so it th does work. There we go. There we go. The shifter does work. I'm just an idiot. Who would have guessed? All right, let's get in here. Now this is rented, so it's going to be costing us every second we use this thing. So, and I've got it on hard mode, obviously, so it's... Yeah. Can't see nothing. Oh, yeah. They desperately need us to come through with this thing. I ain't doing it until we work out a payment plan. The government can suck my ass, alright? You can suck my balls! Because I ain't doing it. No, sir. Not without reasonable payment. We'll be nice to the uh, foreman at the sawmill and we'll run a strip for him. Because he puts up with us and our shit, so... Yeah, they definitely need someone to come through and clear these snow drifts. Sir. It's nice being in a cab. Very nice indeed. Look, we've even got a heater, a radio, and a cassette player. Hell yeah. This is living, ladies and gentlemen. Living in luxury. Look at this go, too. Man, it's banging. It's banging! It's beautiful. The wild winter homestead, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't changed my clothes in weeks. Should do that at some point. Alright, here we are. Let's get this down. Turn it on. Better go down in the gears a bit. I want to keep it around, what, 1800 might be a bit high on the revs. I guess that's just what it runs at. Alright, here we go. Let's not blow it onto his roof. Oh shit, we're blocking his equipment though. Out here! No! Get out there! Turn faster, goddammit! Alright, there we go. There we go.
Alright, he might have to blow it onto his roof. But he'll thank us for the, uh... For the, um... Cleared road. Let us go. Alright. This is definitely going to be a longer episode. Maybe I could... Maybe I should split it into two. Because I... And the only reason I do that is... Looking at you guys watching. Um, by about the half an hour mark... There's like... Two people. Three people. And that's cool. I'm... I've played... You know... I can play a show to just one person. That's absolutely fine with me. But... Uh, if it's not entertaining for you, you know, if it's more entertaining at the start, maybe it's just my, um, okay, there we go, you know, I don't know, this just might be a bit too long, whoops, wrong button. Let's see. Let's go for a bit of a loop-de-loop -loop here. Yeah, look at this. This thing pulls it. No worries. No bloody... Oh, saying that, we're stuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you serious right now? Fucking serious. Come on, come on. Fuck. All right, we're struggling. We are struggling, ladies and gentlemen. Will you go forward now? Come on! <sighs> Why did I try to go through the snow without... You've got to be fucking shitting me. Alright. And why aren't you? Now, I know you're sitting there laughing at me. Right? And probably calling me an idiot. Which would be fair, to be honest. Because let's face it, that's exactly what I am. However... You get out here and try this, alright? You get out here and try and lug this fucking firewood processor around the hills like I'm doing right now. Ha! And we're stuck. There we go, there we go. We're up, we're up. Come on, you fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, oh, my brain. <laughs> Ocean madness, ladies and gentlemen. Ocean madness. Oh. Let's try again. Let's try again, shall we? 
Yeah, I don't know if... You know what? It's going to be an episode just getting this fucking thing back up the hill. Come on, Ford. Yes. Go, you mighty thing. Yes. Now, I've got to go the long way around here. This thing is long. And it might get stuck here again if we're not careful. Come on. Be like Rob Schneider. You can do it. Oh my god. What a process, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Just for some firewood. Now, can I... Whoa, the lights are good. Holy shit. And this is our life now. Two kilometres an hour. On the open road. Yeah, no, nah, that's going to be way too slow. All right. Next option. We have access to the firewood processor now, right? So let's just continue on our merry way with clearing. And we'll have to come back for it. We don't have the chutzpah to get it up behind us. I'm not sitting here for five hours at fucking one, uh, one mile per hour. Getting up this bloody hill. All right. Where's the road? Here's something. And this is our life now, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. Yeah, I didn't... I did not expect... I knew the firewood thing would be a task. I did not expect it to be this much of a task. <sighs> That's alright. That's fine. Get the firewood going and we'll... We'll save the people in the town, don't worry. Now we should probably get a thumbnail. How's that? There's another one. Boom. And I guess we'll see which one we use, eh? This hill is the bane of my existence, I swear. We are struggling. Can we, if we go down a gear, does it help us get more? Of it? No. What about in the, the second gear? Keep an eye on our money too, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be costing us. Holy shit. Are we even going to be able to get this up here? Like, actually. I mean, the wood processor. I'm having serious doubts. Serious doubts. Alright, hopefully that engine's not too loud for you guys. We'll just turn it down a little bit. 
All right, we're finally back up onto some flat ground. But yeah, this is, this is wild. But this is the wild winter homestead after all. Yes. <laughs> and this shit is going to happen. Huh? Uh, can A be helped? Now what I do have to do is I actually do have to end this episode because it's about to uh, piss down rain here. <laughs> and I've got to get the horse from across the road so he doesn't get pummeled by hail or rain. He's got no shelter over there. So I'm going to have to end this very soon. How long have we been going for? Yeah, an hour now. So this is usually whereabouts I'd end it. So... What I will do is I'll... I will try and get that wood processor up the hill. This episode. Whether or not we're going to be able to or not is another story. It's getting into the afternoon as well. So. Come on, you mighty old rig. I wish we had a little bit faster working speed, to be honest. Oh, what are we stuck on? Hello? Can't tilt the... Um, what's going on here? Controls, that's that thing. There we go. I got it up a little bit. Yeah, that's weird. Alright. Look at us go now, though. We are living large. All right. I know this probably isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, but uh, must be done because if we want to get this firewood happening. It needs to be done. What I'm really worried about is doing this and it snowing right behind me. Uh, and just filling up the road. Ugh. Nearly home. And we'll go back and get the uh, wood processor. Get started. There's our boundary with the blue X. All that on that side is our property. We're a long way. Now, I tried to work out. I'm pretty sure it's close to 40 acres and I wanted to do that for this block to simulate James Aloff's channel, The Wild Homestead which this is all from if you, if you haven't heard me say it already go and check out his channel um, you know he's uh, a dude, we'll say that <laughs> he's funny, it's great to watch uh, it's well worth the. It's well worth your time to go see his channel. Go check it out. Now, uh, there was something else I wanted to say. 
Oh, uh, Crustu as well. Go and check out Crustu's channel. Uh, he's a YouTuber, farm sim as well. He's doing some cool stuff on No Man's Land and uh, other things. So, yeah, definitely go and check him out too. He's a fellow brother subscriber. And uh, he's living large too, so, yeah. Go and show him some love. Tell him the bogan sent ya. We gotta support each other, these small channels, you know what I mean? So we'll, I've said this before, we'll never really be a big channel. I carry on, I swear, too much. It's too much adult humour for YouTube and ads and stuff, so... And again, I'll say this, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're seeing ads on this, go get your ad blocker right now, okay? I don't know how on earth you guys can watch anything. And you know what is absolute shit? Is how YouTube has a three minute video with five minutes of ads in it. How can that be possible? That should be fucking illegal, alright? So... I encourage ad blockers. I don't have any the delusions of grandeur of ever making money from this. It's just something we're doing for fun and to make, you know, and to meet some cool people out there. As I said, I live out in the middle of the woods, right? In the middle of nowhere on my farm. And a bit of human interaction is always nice. And in my mind, that is a legitimate major reason why I'm doing this. Now, what I do with the rest of my time is work on the farm and I write and do things like that. So, uh, yeah, doing this on the side was just a way to have a bit of a laugh. Now I don't go into town anywhere near as much as I used to, so I don't have to, and town is shit. So, all right, let's get down, pick up this wood processor. Quick as we can. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's a lot smoother now we've got no fucking snow on the road, Jesus. And if you're still watching after an hour, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you. I appreciate ya. I really do. Alright. As I said, I used to play in bands and stuff. And that sort of scratched that itch of getting out and creating and having a good time. But, uh... Yeah, nowadays, living the family life, uh, just being a lonesome writer, you know? and working on books. I've written two books. I've never released them, but over the last 15 years I've been writing these two books. One was a Viking book, and the other's a post-apocalyptic book, and... Uh, the post-apocalypse one is definitely going to be my magnum opus. I'm putting a lot of effort. I've got like bloody 15 story, different story arcs happening. Now, Tolkien was my hero. I want to, I want to have depth, but also like the brutality of Bernard, um, Bernard Cornwall, of um, oh fuck, a Cormac McCarthy. You know, I love the brutality and realness of Cole Mac McCarthy. The road, especially, but Blood Meridian, man, that changed my life. That book. Oh shit! Uh, what happened? All right, 
we're on now let's get back <laughs> let's get up the hill if we can oh it's a heavy unit this man holy crap wow I don't know if we're going to get this up this hill. I might have to go down in the gears too. Actually. That might be too low. There we go, we'll try that. Keep the revs high. <laughs> Is this even going to be possible, ladies and gentlemen? Is this going to be possible? We're about to find out. The effort to get this thing up here, my God. Hopefully it's worth it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, this thing is heavy. We're not even at the steep part yet. This whole Ford is working hard. There's another screenshot right there. Oh, there's a fucking tree in the way. And another. Good on your tree. Thank you. Oh, we're starting to slip. Oh, we're hitting the snow. That's why. Come on, old girl. You can do it. Uh-oh. Come on. We are in low right now. Full blown revving the fuck out. <laughs> Look at the cheech! Look at it! Greta is pissing her pants right now! But we've done it. The old Ford has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not dig that front end into the snow. The old Ford has done it my god well we're not home yet to be fair so all right up gears come on come on we're getting there go Yes! <laughs> We're there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at us go now. Fantastic. Oh, man. What an effort. Holy shit. Uh oh, yeah. Whole episode. Whole hour and, what, half now, maybe? Of getting this thing up the hill. Holy shit. But, that's the struggles when you want to make money, isn't it? Damn. Oh shit. I lost my momentum. There we go, there we go. We're okay. Well... Miles, I hope you're out pushing. No, I know I'm poking fun at you, Miles, but it's actually cool. I, I, I actually really enjoy the, the struggle. Uh, I'm putting it on a bit. Thank you very much for the suggestion, and keep them coming, guys. If you have suggestions, I'd love to hear them. The 
we're gonna hit the firewood for you know for a couple episodes probably see how far it gets us because we need to uh, wait for the weed to get grown you know what I mean so. and that shit takes it just takes time And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to... Well, unless we are desperate for money, which we probably will be. Um, I'm not going to sell it by the single pallet anymore. I'm going to wait till we get a good lump sum and then just BAM! Go and unload it. Give it to the boys. The fellas down at the uh, Cheech and Chong shop. Look at this triumph, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit! Tried to get fancy with the camera angle and I fucked it. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! <laughs> I sounded like I fell off down the stair then. Oh! Alright. <laughs> oh, dear. And here we are. This is the flat. We're going to do it on the driveway here, so... Because we've got this nice flat area. Now, where do we load from on this? We load from... Front there. Okay, so that side. And then we dump off from there. Alright, let's drop this here. We're going to clear this... Bit of road. And in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will um, deliver the firewood. That's going to be the goal. Get this firewood processor going. And really, uh, really put the effort into making some money. Now, again, I want to hear from you guys. How much should I get paid by the council to clear the highway? I could make some money off this rig now that we've got it hired. But I need to know. How much is it worth? If you're still watching, thank you. And tell me what you think. Alright. I'll get this loaded and put it into position. And we will see you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Cheers, you stubbies. You legends and larrikins. I love you. Goodbye.